Hi everyone, thanks for joining me on my life on a hill. My name is Tracy. This is um, my patreon.com slash Nilum Talk account that you just saw up there. Um, you could go and support me there. So that's me. That was me talking on my Patreon um, site. So basically what I do there, it's also nails, but I do some serious topics and I have different tiers. And the topics that I um, normally do, I think in this case was, um, uh, I forget what this one was about, but it's like on, on my, on my life on a hill, my YouTube channel, I will do random things. I'll do nails, cooking, healthy eating, you know, different topics. Cause it's my life on a hill on patreon.com slash nail talk. I talk about, um, I do nails and I talk about topics of life. And so this was one video that I did there. So the only thing that you'll get different, there is different voiceover in, in the sense that I will discuss something different there. Same nail video, but different um, situation. And a lot of them are pretty deep. So if you want to go check it out over there. So you guys, I got my little, um, I like to call it my nail tripod, my nail stand from um, AliExpress. And what I like about this, that you could break them apart individually or keep them together and it's easier to cure. So I like, I really like this one. I have another one that's like the checkered um, container, but it's, it's individual and it sometimes when you pick it up it uh, it's magnetic so it, it falls apart so I, this is my favorite by far my favorite and it's actually not expensive and i got it from aliexpress so i am using like a coffin shape with a black um Karaskai, um gel polish and i am going to be doing um this one was for halloween so um the topic that I discussed I think it was about do you celebrate Halloween and what are your religion and what are your beliefs on Halloween and different things like that so I love using anything that I, I love designing nails but I can't do freehand so I find like stamping decals and so forth and I love the fact that there you know these things exist for people like me that don't have the talent to draw and so I am doing a um, ombre effect in the middle with Karaskai white gel because whenever you do any type of stamping, you guys, literally the background should be white for it to really stand out. I did some um, orange, stamping on orange, but it was black stamping. So it came out. I mean, it you have to test it out and make sure um, that you have the right stamping um, polish. So in order for it to work. So I don't want to waste my little sponge, you guys. So I just clip, clip, clip. And um, the silver um powder is just to give it a little bit of a an effect so it wasn't really you know to to be a bright yellow or anything like that so um these stamp the stamp the stamping plate that i got look so, so everything that i get i get it from aliexpress and but currently i have some stuff that was supposed to be coming before this even happened and it's was on its way and somehow it haven't gotten here yet so i am thinking like smaller packages they're holding and you know just stuff coming through i guess customs from um international they're passing through but i have a lot of stuff well not a lot i think i had like two or three more stuff that was supposed to be on its way and hopefully when everything um you know is over with that somehow it doesn't get lost and it's still on its way so so and anyways what you have to do now in order to do stamping is make sure that you don't have a sticky uh, sticky layer. So I use the no um, wipe top coat from Kara Sky. Look, I love all her products. Her her product is just popping and I'm not getting paid by any way. I wish I was <laughs> to advertise her stuff, but I love even the bottle, how it feels in your hand. So this is my plate and I'm showing you what I am using. And a few times, you know, because stamping is temperamental, um, it's don't worry my my little robber right there is really clean it's just that sometimes no matter what you do to clean it just stays like that and i use tape in order to take off the pieces that that's on the robber and um just kind of peel it off the parts that i don't want when it gets on the the um the plastic right the plastic mold right there so and again my um my polish came from aliexpress 
yeah, I think it came from AliExpress, and I bought a whole bunch of them, um, different colors, but, you know, the black really stands out, and again, you know, you could see how it stands out on the little yellow that I did put in there. It's kind of like turned green after a while, look like, but it's yellow and white, and so you can see how it looks, and I like how it, it's kind of like fading in and fading out. It's not, some pictures are just, you know, because it's kind of like a ghost effect, so it kind of like just coming through the shadows of the black and you know just coming into the image so i i really enjoyed and i had so much fun doing this um this design on these uh, press on which i ended up wearing for about a week and in order for to make your press on last about a week first you have to i guess prep your nails as usual which is you know push back your cuticles clean up your nails and um i'll put alcohol on it clean it with alcohol dehydrate it and um I also put on a primer and not only that I um, clean off the back of the nails and I put on a little sticky tab that you could buy also from Aliexpress and then I also use glue so it stays on a lot longer for me but then I normally want my nails off within three days as well so it works out for me but not all the time I do it um, I do press on say um, this is a nice adhesive for your nails and I love these glow and the rhinestones that I will be using like a neon pearl and it kind of gave the effect of the image that will be going on the nails um the one that I left blank without any stamping I will go ahead and draw like a spider using the pen that you can write on nails and also um rhinestones so that'll be coming up in a few after I am done doing the um the little rhinestones on the other um nails so um you see the little foot thing over there the little um silicone on my desk i ordered two they're not a really big but they're big enough you guys where you can work on it and not only that you could practice stamping on there you could paint the polish you could practice a lot of stuff on the toes i really love this little um um, silicone that's on right there that I um, have the glue on and it really I really like how it it it, it, it could do so much on there you could and then what you can also do I want to do um, uh, like a reverse stamping using that so that's something I probably be, will be doing soon sooner than later but right now I have like a few videos pending to come up so I want to get those out of the way so um so how are you guys holding up in this situation um you know a lot of nail techs can't work um well excuse me all nail techs can't work i am a licensed nail tech i don't have a place i have my a room in my home that i still work in terms of practice to my chat my youtube this adhesive right here is to activate the um the um the glue that i use zuli's glue and if you you don't need it really, if the room is warm enough, it, it'll dry fast enough. Yeah, so I have my room that I work in and I do my YouTubes or um, Instagram and things like that. Well, mainly YouTube and um, like my family, like I'll work on their hands just to kind of get practice in and things like that. So, but right now, you know, it's social distancing. So even though I don't charge, even though people that come are just my family member in terms of my niece and my sister no one's coming by right now because like they, they're saying you don't know if you have it you know if the, the, you know if you don't know if they have it and they don't know if they have it and you keep giving it to back to each other back and forth so that i love this pen you guys i try to get all colors as possible it's a little bit thicker um the tip is a little bit too thick for me i wish they came thinner but i found some and i want to order them but not right now so because um instead of using paintbrush or liner um, brush to create these things i could just use my brush yeah so i just kind of follow what's going on right now just a link so this could end faster than normal like we can't pass this on like you can't keep growing if we're if we're separated from each other and um even though my we are essential business my husband i have a small grocery business um even though that's the case he's out every day he has his mask on his gloves he goes and comes home he's stripped down he takes off his everything whatever wash his hands before he gets in so you know until we figure out or till until they figure out or know exactly a hundred percent how it's transmitted you know i know they're saying after you know pretty much one of the the main way it's transmitted but let me tell you something guys if you ever met my mother 
you know rest in peace mom because she passed away in 2016 if you ever met this lady she has been a germaphobe from the day we have we were able to 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 like come out and be like hey mom i'm your newborn look girl you need to go bay you stink <laughs> you just came out of my vajay you gotta go bay so from i've known my mother she's always taught us and always been like like clean like first of all as a belizean when you get your meats and when you're ready to cook your meats you wash it with vinegar and lime you wash it off you know you wash it like you're washing clothes you rub it around wash it and first of all you wash your meat then you squeeze the vinegar and lime you put the vinegar and squeeze the lime in there and then when you're done washing it off then you drain that water and wash off the vinegar and lime and then you're ready to season your meat and cook so that's one of the cleanliness that we deal with the another one my mother doesn't like fly in her house you know it's like even if there's one fly it's like it's a joke because like at summer times you know fly do come in as soon as you open the door it's like where the heck did it come from and then if i have the sliding windows like it comes through the window like from the side i'm like how does it fit i'm like did it just born in here is there an egg that stays like for a whole year till the fly decides to hatch because where the heck are these flies coming from but i hear myself sounding like my mom and this is this is my mom <laughs> this is my mom in creole Closita, fly to come in and so we would crack up so since my mom passed that's one of the things that even even my boys know it's like close the door fly to come in and so it's like in our head like my son the minute he sees a flies he like covers down he'll go barricade himself pretty much and it's like till a fly is gone and so so that's one thing that we would utilize is cleanliness when it comes to flies you know um things like that flying around the next thing is always wash your hands um, one day I caught my son before this happened I caught my oldest son using his shirt to open a door I'm like what are you doing you know he goes I don't know what my little brother was touching I'm not taking a chance so we're you know so he's been a germaphobe as well um, I remember when the kids were going to elementary school like in some periods they would want the kids like at lunch or recess to walk around pick up trash I'm like I'm look first of all I've taught my kids to be clean and respect not only if, if you're gonna respect your space you best believe you can respect somebody else's space. Do not have my son picking up nobody's nasty ass trash because first of all, he didn't put it there. Second of all, you did not give him gloves to wear to pick that up. You don't know who put that there, how long it's been there, who stumped on it. So that's an issue that I used to fight to school over many times. So my oldest would say, mom, don't go fight to school. Let me tell you what, what I do. I hold my own trash after lunch. I put it in my pocket and when everybody's walking around, I take out my trash and it looks like I picked up a trash. So we would find ways around these stupid ass schools that would do stupid ass shit to, to not care about these skills safety. So all this shit that's happening right now is people being nasty, nasty. I'm not saying that in different cases, not just happening because of breathing and different things and, and, and the, the ways, but a lot of it, people are just straight nasty. and. So my mother would be the kind of be like, you come home, you take your clothes off. You do not put your street clothes on my sofa, on your, my bed, on your bed. That's just nasty. You put it to wash or you hang it up to air it up for the next day, whatever the case may be, but you're not putting that past, you're not coming in here with that clothes. When I first got my home and we, my rule was no shoes in the house. And it was really like, everybody was following it the shoes was left right there at the door everybody and then all of a sudden it became an issue it was like no shoes no shoes please no shoes i would even let my my kids see you see that right there that's because that could go in your house no shoes no shoes it became a point that i'm like oh god you know i can't do this all the time this is frustrating and another thing that would teach my kids because at one point we would walk to school because it was so close and i would you utilize that as exercising is that i let my kids know always walk and look on the ground there's always dog poop somewhere not only that you walk and if you see a water or some or a wet spot don't walk in that you don't know if that's leftover rain leftover water somebody peed on that a dog peed on that so my kids know all the time if you ever see a kid jump in a puddle that's not my kids they're not ones to jump in puddles and if you see my kids walk on the street and they see anything that's water or something trickling they would um always walk over it and i'll and i and i will show them example why i just don't stimulate um expect these things say these things and expect them just be like more more you know so one day when i walked my son to school there was this guy you know he's a um 
he, he had little issues. I don't know him, but he would walk around the school all the time. But one day he just stood there and smiled. And when you look, he's running down his leg and it's just running down to the sidewalk by the school. And I showed my son, this is why you don't step in puddles. You don't know what the heck that could have been. You thought it was water. Or somebody threw away water. So teach your kids and your family to be clean. You know, my mother has instilled, instilled that in us in a long time. I mean, I used to catch her school mop the table. The, the, the where they eat the cafeteria table with a mop and claim well they can't have a clot but then I saw the same guy that mopped the table put that mop on the ground so we used to fight that too at the school so little people stop being nasty and ratchet I'm not saying that god forbid you don't get sneezed on it you don't get that but part of it too is being nasty okay if you're gonna spit in a tissue put that tissue in the trash don't push it in the um tr on in the um on the ground pick up your mess pick up your dog poop Pick up everything. A bunch of nasty ass people in this world today. But anyways, hope you like my nails. I love, I love the little effect that it came with, like coming out of the the, the darkness, like the web just coming out, like my little spider. That was so cute, and <laughs> and the cat getting scared because it was on the um, skull. Those are just a bunch of different stamp. It wasn't just one stamp. I just put a little stamp in there. So, um, but this was one, kind of my favorite. And then the ghost coming out of like that coming out scaring you and the um, tree that's scary I just love how these came out and um, I have I still have them on a display case so that I can um, display these on a board and use them again next time around so if I even if I want to go somewhere I'm like oops something came up but I don't have time to do nails I could just grab these on press them on and go about my way so if you guys want to support me also I have a PayPal that me slash nail room talk if you want to go support me there also again my patreon.com slash nail room talk if there's three or four tiers there and um you could go and support me there you could do monthly or you could um do one one a month skip a month come back and sign up so whatever you can help thanks so much because these supplies ain't cheap guys and i just do this for really youtube and and for myself not really i don't have um, i do have my license but i'm still deciding um march 29th had made one year that i have my license so i'm i'm glad i didn't go open anywhere because the car everything's closed right now and um nail techs are one of you know salons are one of the ones that's not benefiting from this you know thank god we have our essential business whereas groceries and we can still work that way you know so you do right in this world you give you tied you know you give and be a kind person and times like this you will come out you will come out and um prospering and and even if you don't get this disease consider that to me i, I thank god every day you know i that this is not harming any of our family members and friends and, and people in our circles you know so um just be grateful i mean I, I, after this come out of this wondering what am i going to learn from this you know what are you doing to make tomorrow a better day so this is me right there on um, when i when i was doing the ending of my patreon site so um but i i kept it there just to show you the nails how they look when i had them pressed on um but you could go and support me there again take care guys be safe stay at home let's get this thing over people are struggling but bye now